Hello everyone and welcome to RJK Golf. My name is Riley Kegel and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Today we are going to be doing a review of a new golf ball company that believes they have the products to compete with some of the biggest names in the industry. But first, if you're new to our channel, please consider liking and subscribing all of our pages across social media and YouTube so you can get a behind the scenes look of my professional golf career. You can see the golf course photography and reviews that I do on my travels as well as golf equipment reviews like we're doing today. Alright, to get right to it, I'm introducing to you today Trust Golf. They are a golf ball company based out of Taiwan that believe that their three-piece urethane cover golf ball has the stuff to compete with some of the biggest names in the industry like Titleist, Callaway, Strixon. They're selling all of them as a three-piece tour golf ball and they make four different kinds of golf balls. The Bison Soft, the Bison V, the Bison X, and the Bison XL. They're differentiating the golf balls based on swing speed which can be found on all of the products across their line. Before we get to the results, I wanted to take you through how we went about testing the golf balls. Myself, a professional golfer, and my friend Kyle, a 10 handicap, took all four Trust golf balls out on the golf course and compared them to the Titleist Pro V1 and Strixon Z-Star golf balls. In order to get a comprehensive view at how the golf balls performed, we hit a multitude of shots including drives, iron shots, short game shots, and putts. Before we get into the actual performance of the golf balls, I wanted to take you through something that is very important to consumers as they are trying to pick a new product that they've never used before, and that is the appearance of the product. Now everyone knows the classic look of the Titles Pro V1 and the modern look of the Srixon Z-Star that we tested in this video as well. However, I actually think what Trust has done with their golf ball boxes is better than what their competitors are putting on the market right now. First of all, it's a very durable box and it looks really good. I love the logo that they've selected for this. But then the cover stays on. It has a really nice appearance and a lot of information behind why they designed the golf balls the way they did. Even more important to that for a new company with unfamiliar customers, on the back of the box it tells you in-depth details as to why the particular golf ball you're looking at might be best for you. Now I know that not everyone has a box of these to look at, so in the next frame I'll show a still shot of this so you can pause the video, take a look at all the information included, and then continue playing the video to get to the results. So the first two golf balls that we took onto the course were the Bison Soft, which is recommended for players with a swing speed under 95 miles an hour, and the Bison V, which is recommended for players with a swing speed between 95 and 105 miles an hour. Now there are a couple of reasons why I decided to group these two kinds of golf balls together. The first of which is because the look of the golf ball is the same because they both have the red numbers, which is actually more in line with the Pro V1X and the Strixon Z-Star XV which some golfers prefer over the black numbers. The second reason is because they are the softest feeling and they're for the player with the slower swing speed. So this is gonna be more for a recreational player that plays between once a year and maybe once or twice a month. Uh, these golf balls actually performed really well for us, uh, specifically on lag putting we found and feel off the face of full shots so the sound was a little bit more diluted on drives and iron shots because of the softness of the golf ball and with lag putting because they were so soft we felt like we could be more aggressive on the lead up now we did find that especially when you get to the shorter putts it stuck to the face a little bit more but that is kind of normal for a softer golf ball and didn't really hinder our performance now, my, my personal feedback, I liked the Bison V more than the Bison Soft, but they were both really good golf balls. And I believe that because of the recommended swing speeds, that these might be better options for players that are the weekend warrior type rather than the Pro V1 or the Strixon Z-Star. Next, we took the Bison X golf ball, which is recommended for players with the swing speed between 100 and 110 miles an hour, and the Bison XL, which is recommended for players with a swing speed above 110 miles an hour. 
Now to start again on looks, these golf balls do carry the black numbers on them like the regular Pro V1 and Srixon Z-Star golf ball line. So if you prefer the black over the red, this is where you should look. But in terms of actual performance, these golf balls are going to be a little bit firmer than the other ones were. However, we found that the distance off the tee, as well as if you like a little bit of a hotter feel off the face of the putter, that these are going to be where you want to look. Now, my friend Kyle, who we tested with, as I told you before, he's a 10 handicap. His swing speed is right around 100, and, 100 to 105 miles an hour. He was not totally thrilled with the Bison XL. He preferred the feel of the golf balls that we had reviewed before. He felt like these were just too firm for him and that he couldn't control these. Now, one could look at that as a negative. I actually didn't look at that as a negative because to me, when a new company comes out and they bring out four products and they're all made with three-piece urethane cover golf balls, you're going to say, are these really different? Well, this starts to prove what they're saying is true because... Kyle has a little bit of a slower swing speed. He's a good player, but not a scratch golfer, a professional golfer. And he liked the golf balls that Trust recommended for them. Now, I play professional golf, and I have a swing speed right around 110 miles an hour. These golf balls were much more suited for me. I liked the sound off the face being a little bit louder. If you like to hit a drive and it sounds like you hit it 300 yards, you're going to like the Bison XL. It sounds like that glass breaking sound that a lot of people like. I prefer just a little bit drawn back of that on the Bison X. Now where these separated a little bit for me were with the irons. I really loved the feel, especially the Bison X with the irons. I felt like I could keep the trajectory right where I liked it. I got the most exact distance out of them. And then if I happened to hit a bad shot around the green, our wedge shots. I liked the way that these were spinning uh, and I definitely recommend them for players with a little bit of a higher skill set that are looking to get the most out of a golf ball. Alright, so let's get to the final results of our testing that we did. We took it out onto the golf course, like I said before. Off the tee is where the Bison golf balls in total blew me away. I thought that a new golf ball company that's untested and unproven would not be able to keep up with the length of these golf ball companies that have been around for decades. I was wrong. My hypothesis that the Trust Golf Balls, all four of them would be the shortest, completely wrong. I actually found that off the tee, they were just as long as the Titleist and the Srixon Golf Balls. When we hit a handful of shots with all these golf balls, we found that there was maybe a yard or two difference between the Trust Golf Balls throughout the lineup and the Pro V1 was on par with the top echelons of them. I found that whether it was just that day or what have you, the Bison X went the longest for me, but they honestly were all within a yard or two of each other. The Srixon did win the total distance competition, but it was by about a yard or two. I mean, it was really not that big of a difference. So in terms of distance off the tee, these are right there with it. The closer we get to the green is where we start to see most of the differences between the Bison golf balls throughout the lineup. Off the iron shots, I thought that they performed very well. As I had said before, Kyle didn't like the firmer golf balls because he just felt like when he hit it, it just didn't come off with the same oomph. It wasn't recommended for him. The golf balls that he did, the softer ones with the irons he loved. For me, Bison X, Bison XL, off the irons were great. When we got to the short game shots, as I've outlined before, the firmer golf balls, you need a little bit more skill to be able to do what you want. But if you're looking for the highest performance, they, they held their own with the Titleist and the Strix on golf balls. When it came to putting, once again, throughout our putting course that we did, they really held up to the challenge. Now I know what you're thinking now. Should I buy these golf balls? That's what matters. Can you put these into play? You're going to get maybe a couple of looks on the tee when you tell them you're going to be playing a trust golf ball. But I would actually recommend these golf balls. You definitely need to look into the recommended swing speeds and find out your own swing speeds so that you can get the best fit just off of looking at them. If I was going to recommend something to trust, I would say that they should put together a box of golf balls 
three from each of the four different bison golf balls and just have a test pack that they could sell to people. I think that people would be more comfortable hitting all of them and seeing for themselves. But trust me, we had two different players playing with different swing speeds and we actually saw a difference. And if you were in the right swing speed, I would totally recommend them. Kyle told me that he would pay full retail price that Trust is asking to play these golf balls. They are a little bit harder to get, they're not in retail stores, but he definitely said he would put these into play. Now if you're wondering, Riley, are these good enough for you to play in a professional golf tournament? For my personal preference, I couldn't play all of these in tournaments. I liked all of them in different ways on the course, but as I've been saying all day, you have to get the recommended ones for you. And I'm happy to say that especially the Bison X golf balls, the ones that are recommended for 100 to 110 miles an hour, I'm on the top end of that scale. I would put these into play. I currently play the Srix on Z-Star, and I would put these into play in a professional golf tournament. I absolutely recommend everyone who watches this video to look up Trust Golf online. They're both on Instagram and Facebook. They do a lot of stuff on Instagram that you'd probably love if you're into golf equipment. Their website is listed on the box. It is kerichem.com. That is K-E-R-I-C-H-E-M.com. You can find out all the information you need on their website. If you want some more information from myself, you can send me a direct message on Instagram or Facebook. I'd be happy to help you out with more. All right, everyone, once again, thank you so much for tuning in to our first golf equipment review for Trust Golf. Golf balls are very, very hard to test. We went out there, we did a full review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have a massive announcement coming up in about a week for where we're taking RJK Golf into 2019. I wanted to once again wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we'll see you again very soon.